Hey guys, I'm back with another new tutorial and today I will show you how to make this presentation slide animation in just PowerPoint. So without wasting your time, let's start creating. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first to change the background color, go to design, click on format background and from here I'll pick this light gray color. Now close it, go to home and pick a oval shape. Then holding the control shift from your keyboard, drag it over here. Place it in the exact middle of our slide. Go to format, click on shape fill and change this color. Then again go to shape outline and select no outline. After that we have to pick a text box, drag it over this circle. Here I am typing big, selecting all the text, change the font to TWCENMT, increase the font size to 115. Make it bold, change the font color to white, make it center, now place it here. Again we have to pick a text box, drag it under the previous one, here I am typing concept, selecting all the text, change the font to TWC and empty, increase the font size to 48 point, make it bold, change the color to white again, make it center and take it a bit upward. Then make another copy of this text box, here selecting all the text, decrease the font size to 18 point and add some explanation text. Now select only these three text boxes and place them in the exact middle of the circle. Then select all of them and press Ctrl G to group. After that again pick a oval shape, holding the Ctrl shift make it like this, place it here. Go to format, click on shape fill, change this color. Go to shape outline, select no outline. Now again we have to pick a text box, drag it over this circle, add some text. Selecting all the text, change the font to TWC and empty again. Increase the font size, make it bold, change the font color to white, make it center and place it here in the middle. Again make a copy of this text box, decrease the font size, add some explanation text and now we have to select all of these and press Ctrl G to group. Then holding the Ctrl Shift from your keyboard drag it to down and it will be duplicated. Now select this circle, go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. Again pick oval shape. Drag it over here, make it a bit smaller than other. Go to format, click on shape fill, change the color. Go to shape outline and select no outline. Now what we need to do, pick another text box, drag it over the circle, add some text, selecting all the text, change the font to TWC and empty, increase the font size, make it bold, change the font color to white, center. Place it here, make another copy of this text box, decrease the font size of it, add some explanation text and then we have to select all of them and press Ctrl G to group. Again we have to pick a oval shape, make it like this, place it here, go to format, from shape fill change the color, from shape outline select no outline, press Ctrl D to duplicate. Take it here, change this color, holding the Ctrl Shift from your keyboard drag it to down and it will be duplicated, change this color also. Now what we need to do, we have to add some icons, so go to insert, click on picture, here I will select these three icons and now we have to add these icons one by one over this circle. You can download these icons for free from flaticon.com, I'll give the link in the video description. And now we have to select these two, press Ctrl G to group. Again select these two, press Ctrl G to group. Select these two and press Ctrl G to group. Now we have to pick a text box, drag it over here, add some header text. Selecting all the text, change the font to TWC and MT, increase the font size, make it bold. Change the font color so that it matches with the circle. Now make another copy of this text box. Here decrease the font size, 
change the font color to this ash and add some explanation text. Now we have to select these two text boxes and press Ctrl G to group. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate this group of text boxes. Place it here. Press Ctrl D to duplicate again and place it here. Now we just need to change the color of this header text so that it matches with the circle. After changing this font color, I'll go back to my previous slide and from here I'll copy this upper portion by pressing Ctrl C and paste it here by pressing Ctrl V. This time is for adding the animation. At first we have to animate this bigger circle. So select this one, go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. Now to animate this circle, click on add animation, select zoom, keep start on click and duration 0.50 second. Here you can see that our animation already has been added. Now select the second circle, go to add animation, select zoom, set start after previous duration 0.50 second. Now select the third one, click on add animation, select zoom, set start after previous, duration 0.50 second. Do the same thing for this circle, go to add animation, select zoom, set start after previous and duration 0.50 second. Now select this circle, click on add animation, select zoom, set start after previous, duration is same and uh, Select this text box, go to add animation, select fly in. Now we have to change the direction. So from effect option, select from right, set start after previous and duration 0.25 second. Then select this circle, from add animation, select zoom, set start after previous, duration 0.50 second, select this text box, click on add animation, select fly in, change the direction from right set start after previous duration 0.25 second finally for the last circle do the same select zoom from add animation set start after previous keep duration 0.50 second for this text box select fly in change the direction from right set start after previous and duration 0.25 second and we are done now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly. You can download this template for free, I've given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like this video. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, make sure you subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notifications from our channel. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.